<clears throat> Hello, welcome back. Formithrax here. As soon as I get all my buttons pressed the right way. Alright, we'll get started here in just a moment. Just need to make sure a few stream items are set up properly. Alright, volume's running, stream's running, chat's running, everything looks like it's running. Okay, like I said, welcome back. I'm Vormithrax, this is Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. We're going to continue from where we left off on Wednesday. My original intent was to have Wednesday be a one-off, but we didn't quite finish the goal that I wanted, and we've got a really good run going on a pretty hard starting condition. So we're going to see how much further we can push it. And uh, whether we continue past today, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll first see if we actually survive the day. Um, I do still have one last condition I'd like to meet to finish up the original victory conditions that I'd set for myself. And then we'll kind of decide from there what we're going to do. Um, whether to retire it with a uh, challenge complete and set up a brand new series. Uh, or continue pushing things and see if we can keep this guy alive in this crazy city world we've got set up. So, what are we doing? Um, this is called the Really Bad Groundhog Day Challenge, and it's a variation on one I did uh, kind of early in my YouTube career. So, what I've done is set up a shower victim start for the Really Bad Day scenario. If you're not familiar, Really Bad Day is a really, really hard starting condition. You start in a burning house in the middle of a town. Uh, you're bitten, inf or you're infected, not just a bite. You're actually full-blown infected. You've got the flu. You've got a hangover from being flat out drunk, um, just all sorts of neg negative conditions. You're also naked except for a bath towel. I also made my guy an asthmatic. That makes it even more fun. And uh, you can see what traits we took. But that's kind of the starting conditions. And the Groundhog Day portion of it is just uh, kind of a themed thing where I usually anticipate with this start to die a lot. Uh, because I've cranked up the zombie spawns from 1.0 to 3.0. And I've made the city size 16 with city spacing 0. I've also lowered the amount of item spawns, which is going to make it harder to uh, get the items you need to survive. Uh, especially the uh, get rid of the infection to start with. And uh, made the zombies a little tougher, although just a tiny bit slower. And I'll show you the stats in the chat window here in a moment. Um, but here is the biggest thing. This is the map. There we go, in all its glory. So, I figured this was our hometown. I didn't expect to really get out of the city, and uh, I wanted to go ahead and show everybody what we were faced with, so I set the map to be revealed right at the start with the debug command, and we haven't wandered far from our starting position. So, that's kind of where we're at. Um, that 3.0 zombie spawn means there are zombies everywhere, so... It's pretty tough. They are dense, dense, dense. And we got to be really careful in when and where we actually choose to fight. We lucked out quite a bit in our starting position. We started right here in this house, right below this bowling alley. And we had the luck of having this uh, forest section right next to us. So we've been using this forest section to break cover and uh, break line of sight and get cover from the zombies. So on occasion, if I get chased by something I can't handle or a whole bunch of some things I can't handle, I go herring off into the forest and try to lose them by hiding behind the trees and breaking line of sight. So we've put it to good effect and managed to stay alive. Um, the Groundhog Day portion means that when we die that we reset the game to its original start point. I have a manual backup created for that purpose. And then we try again using the exact same setup, the exact character, same map and everything. We learn from our previous loop, our mistakes, and we try to figure out a different way to do things. So that's the Groundhog Day portion of it. So funnily enough, um, the very first attempt, we lasted quite a while. Um, we lasted a few hours of real life time and just finally succumbed to the infection when it turned into a bad infection and we got chased down by a couple of zombies that held us in place and then more joined in and we just couldn't survive. But this is their second attempt, our second loop, and we're still alive. Things are actually proceeding pretty well, um, surprisingly well. Through an insane luck, we discovered in the bathroom of the house right next door that I had just walked right past the first time through a first aid kit that immediately got rid of our infection. So that took a lot of the 24-hour time pressure off 
and allowed us to take a little bit more time, be a little more deliberate about our choices, and we've managed to survive, uh, what, 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 day, what day is it? Second day? We're on day three. Hour 12 of day three. So two days and four hours we've been alive so far, and we've got no bites or infections. Health is just fine for the most part. We've managed to clear a little area around our current house, which is this one right here. So we've cleared a little area around the house. Um, and we've just recently discovered an atomic mini tank nearby. So there's an atomic mini tank in the area that we might be able to use to actually get out of here. Um, where did my atomic... yeah, right there. Atomic mini tank. So there's an atomic mini tank in working condition. We can hop in it and we can travel around the city. So just how we're going to put that to use, I'm not real sure. Um, let me talk about the main goal. So the first goal that I had set for this was just to survive the first 24 hours. That's always the first goal of a shower start uh, with a really bad day scenario because you're infected. If you don't get that fixed in 24 hours, you fall over dead anyway. So we accomplished that. Second one was to get rid of all the negative uh, effects that I had, the drunk and influenza and all the other effects. So we've gotten rid of all those. We're in good condition. And then the third thing was to find the outer edge of the city, actually reach the edge of the city and quote-unquote escape. And so that's what we're doing. Now, this is a pretty big city, so I've got, like I said, the map enabled, so you can see the limits of the city right there. It looks like we have a southern limit, so we could go that way, but we're kind of tucked into the northern end of the city where we started. We've got a bit of a western border there. And then it's all solid city until this very northern section. And again, a stroke of luck, that little section of forest all actually climbs all the way down to where we're at. So we're based right in this area. And if we just follow, for the most part, this forested area, if we can get to this line, I'm going to consider that the victory. Um, it looks like that is the northern edge of the city. And that would be my final victory that uh, I've been trying to achieve for my starting conditions. So whether we continue after I make it to there, if we do, we'll see. But uh, as we've seen in the last episode on Wednesday, there are shocker brutes, hulks, all sorts of things wandering this forest now. So there's so many zombies with that 3.0 zombie spawn that uh, they've now infiltrated the forest area. And it is not a simple and easy walk out of here. So I have to kind of decide if we are prepped enough to make the trip out of here from the forest route or if we want to hop in the mini tank and take a mini tank ride through the city streets and try to work our way as far north as possible. So that's kind of the choices that we're looking at. Um, we're back in our base. We had just found the mini tank and retreated back here. It's noon of day three and I've got a bunch of gear right here inside this little bathroom area. So. We've accumulated quite a bit, um, but we're still very, very far from having everything we need to, to progress safely. So here's the character again. You can see where I set it up. Uh, we're pretty light on skills. I started with melee and dodge four, uh, melee and dodging four. Uh, the melee four uh, connects into our Penchak Silat uh, martial art, our melee weapon training, I mean, um, and our knife, spear, and fork spears, and so on allow us to get the benefits of that uh, martial arts training and with level four we get all of the abilities from that dodge four is just obviously good and the other ones we've had to build up as we go so that's kind of where we're at and the only other things we were fast healer fleet-footed indefatigable uh, which means we just don't tire out as fast we have more stamina and uh, light step for those nighttime movements although we had a really rough time at night last time the density of the zombies is so great I couldn't go more than four or five spaces without bumping into a zombie at night, so uh, we're going to have to rethink the nighttime thing. I thought I would be able to move around a little more effectively, but we had both a uh, density problem as well as they were tracking and following me a lot better than they should have been. So there are some visual range problems. The uh, shady zombies in particular have a glitch where they can see inside a building no matter what distance they are during the daytime. Uh, they shouldn't be able to do that, so there's a few odd things going on. All right, but we are back, and what are we going to do? Um, I'm still not convinced I'm quite ready to make the trip out of here. Um, 
there's not really any nearby buildings of the commercial variety that we can take advantage of. We're kind of in a mostly residential area. So let's take a look at our inventory real quick. So we've got a full-on crowbar. We're using the forked spear for our weapon currently. We do have a toolbox, so we've got all the tools available to us uh, to do various things. That's awesome. Filter mask, not quite as good as the others for getting rid of smoke and poison, but uh, it'll do in a pinch till we get something better. We've got a few first aid kits. I've got some uh, one on the ground as well. Um, and we just found some hydrogen peroxide. That's the only thing we've got in order to uh, try to cleanse a wound or a bite. So we're going to have to be really careful about that still. And we picked 10 plutonium cells out of that atomic mini tank. So that's what we're going to use to power that thing up even better uh, if we do try to use it to get out of here. Clothing, we're looking at a leather backpack. We just got cleaned up. Um, that was awesome to finally get. And then some basic clothes. Balaclava, long underwear. Uh, we're using roller blades currently to skate around for the added uh, speed on the concrete and sidewalks. And some leather jacket and gloves. So pretty basic gear. Nothing too fancy. Um, we're still very much within bite range of all the low-level zombies. Um, so we've got a lot of work to do there. I'd love to get some turnout gear if we can get to a fire truck or a fire station. Uh, that would be wonderful. Because otherwise we've only got maybe two to four points of protection on our various body parts. And that is not enough. So all the low-level zombies can easily get a bite through to us. So we're going to have to work on that very much. Um, food and water, not so much a problem at the moment. We had a local moose that we were able to kill in the forest, and that's pretty much kept us fed. And uh, we've been just grabbing water and other hydration from the local houses and toilets. So we're okay there. So... I'm loath to go southwest. We lured a zombie or a shocker brute and uh, some other nasties down that way, so who knows where they've wandered off to, but uh, I'd rather not go that direction if I can. We've covered a lot of the local zombies uh, or the local houses in the area, immediate area, and we've marked a few of them off. I haven't been this far north to these houses, um, so we might head up that way and do a little bit more looting. So. Let me know, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. I've adjusted the audio balances a bit, so let me know if the music, sound effects, or anything like that uh, are too loud, not loud enough, uh, compared to my voiceover. So, um, let's do a quick sweep around the house. We are soaking wet, so that's not good. I can't do much about it, though. I'm going to do a sweep around the house just to make sure my immediate area is still clear. With level 4 melee dodge and the Pentjack Silat with our spear, we don't have too much to fear from solo low-level zombies. We can take them pretty easily. Um, obviously combos and groups are still a problem. Looks like the area is still clear. Do I have any food on me? I do not have any food or water on me. So let's go get that taken care of real quick. Alright, what do we got over here? We got some hamburger. Still got nine chunks of meat. I'm still working on this cooked meat though. So we're full there. And still got about 13 or so clean water cooked up. How much water do I have in the toilet? Nine in the toilet still. Alright, so we're good there. So we're full and slaked. And I'm not on painkillers. Let's take an aspirin. Okay. So, there is a fire station right up here, but uh, there's going to be a whole mess of zombies between here and there. Hey there, Dragon Man. And I'm not messing when I say there are a lot of zombies out there. Turning the zombie spawn rate up from 1 to 3 and having a giant city like this means daytime hours moving around is really dangerous. Um, any encounter ends up drawing just hordes of zombies on you, so... I've been really careful to avoid larger conflicts and trying to use my mobility and use the forest to get away. Am I carrying... I am not carrying the other shoes. Alright, I need to fix that problem. I need a second pair of shoes just in case I have to take the rollerblades off. Uh, what was I planning to do for that? Oh yeah, we've got the... Uh, Leather armor boots. 
Um, six out of fourteen. That's right, I remember we went and bashed apart a bunch of seats and vehicles for leather patches, and then we created some uh, pretty good items. Um, let's set this to inventory over here. Cancel all boots. New volume out of my 14. Go ahead and do it. I need to keep them with me. Let's drop the plutonium cells for now. I don't have an immediate desire to take off in the tank. And uh, let's go do some more looting. Um, I'd like to secure a little bit more in the way of uh, dried and preserved food supplies, as well as a few more items we're on the lookout for. I just wish we had some better building choices nearby. Um, I think I'm going to go east down the road. Actually, we did that last time, didn't we? We went east and we saw those big crowds of zombies over there. Um, got several horde indicators nearby that we have to be careful of. Turn the blinking back on. All the white uh, carrots blinking, greater than, less than symbols and such, are indicating ladders. Uh, for some reason, with the map turned on, when I went downstairs in my first building and came back up again, my map started showing me all of the downstairs ladders. So I know the houses that have uh, basements, basically. Alright, bit of an advantage I wasn't expecting. Um, so going southwest is not really something that I think is healthy. If I go north, it's all residential, really. Let's head up this way. Uh, a skeleton coming at me from that direction. Where'd you go, skeleton? I think he ducked into that house. There was a zombie master and a zombie necromancer in the area, and I don't think I have tracked them down yet, so... All right, come here, zombie. This kind of fight's pretty wobbly on my side, my advantage. Shocker, zombie. Uh, just because I've got the roller blade, so I'm really, really fast on this kind of terrain. And it's really easy to kite. Let's grab that. Boomer. So, in the woods. Oh, there we go. Spitter. So, in that one section of the woods, I've seen a shocker, a spitter, a grabber, a bloated, and a, and a boomer. All hanging out in that area. So, and who knows what else might be there. It could be, like I said, the necromancer, the master, shocker brutes. Could be a lot of nasties. Um, I think it's far enough from the house. I'm going to ignore it if I can. I'm uh, pretty sure I already checked this ambulance. That wasn't an item I cared about. Yeah, well, guess not. Ambulance had uh, some bandages. We'll definitely grab those. Alright, this building to my right. Two houses. Um, I think I've been in here. Maybe not. There's the skeleton. Come here, skeleton. Don't don't come through the uh, <laughs> window, please. All right. Anything in the kitchen? Just a pot, potato chips. Yeah, I, I remember I have come through here. Don't need pipes or sheet metal or anything like that, so I'm not going to do anything with that stuff. Let's just mark this one as explored and head up north to the next one. Alright, this one's been partially collapsed, and that's a common problem right now. Alright, now we're getting to the limits of the area I've cleared, so... Yep. Yeah. All the zombies, especially with the enhanced spawns, are busy tearing cars apart, collapsing roofs and houses, 
doing just all sorts of negative things. <laughs> so they're making a bit of a mess for me to try to deal with. Um, mildly worried about coming this way. This is towards those zombies that are out in the forest. Lemonade. Don't need more liquid containers right now. Keep wanting me to have dust mass. Bottle of rum. Uh, I could make Maltovs out of the bottle of rum. Let's grab that for the moment. Ooh, hello zombie. He moved a little faster than I thought he would. Uh, okay, I've been in this basement. I remember this one. Oh, I have not been in this basement. I have not been in the spider basement. Alright, we can't deal with the spider basement right now. Alright, good to know though. Spider basement. We, I don't think I have the ability to deal with the spiders currently. Um, I would actually, ah crap, here comes a spitter. Uh, I don't like dealing with spitters in closed spaces. Ah, this is not good. He's going to spit on us and we're not going to be able to get away from it. Oh, he went south apparently. Come on, spitter. Follow me out. I want to get him out in the open. More likely... There we go, that's what I wanted. Alright, come get some, Spitter. There we go. Perfect. Going fine so far. Um, I want to see what kind of... Hmm, don't want that boomer to come down, make too much noise. What kind of spiders they are. It can vary. Let's clean this area up first. Hey there, the Meese. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, Giant Black Widow. Um, Love spider basements when you can deal with them. Really good source of food, and it's got a chance for one of the rare item drops. You can find power armor and advanced weapons and all sorts of stuff. Uh, it'll be a single item buried somewhere back in this basement, uh, usually underneath a web. So you end up having to clear the basement and smash away all the webs to try to hunt down the rare object. Um, I just don't think I have the protection I need to try to do this. I'm going to get hit too often. I don't have the layers that I need quite yet. So, let's update our note. Oops. We'll come back, possibly, try to get that. Uh, if I could get some... Oops, zombie necromancer. If I could get some uh, turnout gear, and I'd give it a try. But with my current protection factor, the spiders have just uh, eat me up. They'd overwhelm me. Where's the necromancer? Must be there. Yep, there he is. All right. We're just going to stand here and get our stamina back. Okay, so I think we're done in this place. So we got that big knot of zombies hanging out at that vehicle up there. Uh, geez, one, two, three acid zombies. I'm not worried in particular about any of those. Uh, they're tearing apart an ambulance, huh? A running ambulance. That's not cool of them. Um. I'm worried about going any further north. I 
don't think I want to go in this collapsed house either, which pretty much leaves us moving over a block, I think. Go out the other side of this house. Rottweiler. Shady zombie. We'll go down and get him. Trying to be careful to stay on the concrete where I get my movement bonuses for. Ooh, soldering iron. We'll definitely grab that. Get my movement bonuses for my roller blades that I'm using. Alright, let's work our way north, kill the rest of this stuff. Oops, I think this is part of the dog pack that we had seen earlier. They got spread out a bit. Alright, immediate road is clear. What have we checked in this local area? This building... Here is that's the one I've checked. I think that's the partially collapsed one. Yeah, that would be the partially collapsed one. Go check this side. Whoops. Get your breath back. Alright, restaurant. I've already got a brazier, so I don't need the wood stove. Take the curry powder. Nothing else really. Cheese and a tomato. And a towel. I'll take the towel. I don't have that much room to carry things right now, so. Call that done. <laughs> Another towel. All of a sudden I'm finding plenty of towels. We've gotten a couple of good books. I actually need to take time to do some reading. Uh, we picked up, I believe, the big book of first aid and uh, advanced chemistry book. Little poncho. Hmm. Tempted about that poncho. Just the torso, though. I don't think I will. We've seen everything in this house. Oops, second bathroom. Ah, I want drowsy kind of cough syrup. <laughs> All right, that house is done. This next house to the north has got a cellar, supposedly. Tape. We win. Uh-oh. 
Hello, Screamer. All right, Shrieker, come on. Oh, we're going to get a crowd. All right, I'm going to meet you all right here in the windowsill. Okay, that's not good. Um... Oh, we got grabbed and bit. That's what I was worried about. Shouldn't have stayed in place. Oh, nice. Claws up my eyes and blinds me. Uh, I think the window is right there. We need to switch to run mode. Ah, and we got blinded the second time. Apply towel. <laughs> All right, kind of annoyed that we got bit. I was trying to be really careful about that. I shouldn't have taken so many on in that cramped quarters. I should have pulled them to the outer area and made sure I maintained my distance. This guy's just fast enough. God damn it, stop doing that. Come on. Alright, so I should have pulled them all outside like this where I had maneuvering room and could maintain my distance. Now we got a bite to deal with. We don't have a really good supply of uh, ability to fix that. What you got for me, cop? Anything? Steel toe boots, riot helmet, two way radio. Um, no, I'm not going to use any of that. Oh, they broke the window I came out? Fine, be that way. Uh, Rottweiler's in the house with me. All right, back to walk mode. What kind of basement we got? Well, it's one of the standard types. Ooh, zombie brute. Theoretically, he can't see me. But he sure is acting like he can see me. <laughs> so, this is the part that's kind of annoying. Um, I'm not making any sound while I move. So, how are these guys tracking me exactly? It's too early for the scent map to have built up for them to be using that. Nothing down here that's too useful. Uh, it's probably, what, rum or something in there? Yeah, rum and cola. Um, yeah, I can't grab anything right now. Ah, he just broke down that. He'll probably follow me up. Or not. All right, that's fine. We'll say this one's explored. So the next street over is where the mini tank is, right down there. Uh, there's a bunch of houses over there. I'm kind of trying to work my way over towards the fire station. That's sort of what I'm doing. So I'm going to try to keep moving over and clearing, see if I can get some kind of a semi-clean path towards that fire station. All right, feral, shady, zombie child, another tank. That one I don't know about. Um, what kind we got down here? Mobile meth lab. So that's a light tank. And it's got a number of items in the back. Not likely to be anything in there I'll use. And the treads are gone, so it's not movable. Uh, oops, I should have dealt with that uh, wound before I moved out. Um, 
Pick another aspirin. Kill a couple of zombies. They're coming at me from multiple directions now. They've got to be... Careful I don't get surrounded. God damn it, they keep going for my eyes. What is it with these things? I've been blinded more in the last five minutes than I have in the last 50 hours of this game. Alright. That's it for the fast ones that I've seen so far. The rest of these should be not too tough. Come on. God damn it. Now I got two bites. <laughs> Ugh. I hate having such low protection on my body parts. Every dang scratch is a potential bite. And there's so many zombies I just can't avoid them all, all the hits. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, this is not good. Especially since I haven't found any more antiseptic items. I'm trying to remember, do I have a flashlight yet? I don't think I have a flashlight yet. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to drop this box of lasagna. don't think I'm ever going to use it. Alright, I think I better head back to base. We've made some progress towards the fire station. I don't think we're going to get there today. I need to go back and... Try to cauterize and then uh, disinfect these wounds before the bites turn. So let's work our way back this way. What else we got? We got more shady zombies down there. Stupid broken shady zombies that can't see me right here, but if I step into the building all of a sudden they'll be able to see me. Alright, back to walk mode. More shady zombies have popped up. Where are you guys coming from? aspirin to cover me for a while. And switch over to this block. And then straight south to our base. Oops, well we got another shady zombie has wandered in. 330. Uh, let's check all the sides of my house. Nothing to the south that way. Nothing along that way. Alright, I think the immediate area is still clear. Alright, let's try to cauterize. 50-50 chance. Two different spots. Uh, this is not going to be good. I've only got three doses of hydrogen peroxide, and I don't remember what the chance of hydrogen peroxide is to clear this thing up. We'll find out. But we're going to try to cauterize first. Um, we're going to need a fire source. Oh, it'll let me cauterize right out of the toolbox, will it? All right, fine. Number four, and we failed. All right, let's try cauterizing, this time on number five. All right, we got one of them, so we got that one cauterized, and so the other one we're going to have to go ahead and use 
or hydrogen peroxide, uh, which I have to do from this menu. Still annoys me. Okay, so we got out of it with just using one dose. That's not so bad. But now our pain is spiked, so. Do, do, do. Um. <laughs> Can't use my marijuana? What you talking about? All right, uh, let's drop that bottle of rum. Drop off all of this random food stuff we picked up. Okay, back to 9.5 out of 14. Still debating about the uh, duffel bag. Catch up with chat here. Hey there, Tasty Tom and Lukova. Uh, no, the goal hasn't changed. I'm still going to attempt to get to the outer edge of the city. I'm just trying to get a little better protection. I'm worried about making that trek through the forest. I can't see in the forest just as well as the zombies can't see me, but there's too many shocker brutes and other crazy things out there. So ideally, I'm trying to carve a path up to that fire station and try to get a hold of some turnout gear. And uh, if I can get a decent layer of turnout gear on, I might make the attempt. Um, I'm still debating whether to use the atomic mini tank for part of the trip. As fun as the atomic mini tank is going to be to tool around in, maneuvering in the tight confines of the city, I think, is going to be pretty tough. Um, those are our two options. We either run up here to the atomic mini tank, take it to the north here, then to the east, then to the far north up here, then over, and then north again, and then we're quote unquote victory when we get to that space um, or we hoof it through the forest so unimpeded that would be a really quick trip through the forest we could probably do that in five ten minutes of real game real world time <laughs> but uh, given the number of zombies that I've got spawned in I think the forest gonna be pretty dense with uh, nasties and I'm just worried that they'll run me down that I'll run out of stamina before I can uh, continuously break contact over and over and over again. I think I'm just going to keep running into things as I keep running further and further north into non-cleared areas. And I'm just worried, like the last attempt, that I'll just run out of stamina eventually and get swarmed under. So, I'd like to, while we've got a nice semi-cleared zone, try to get a little bit more protection value. Um, maybe raise a few skills, I'm not real sure. But uh, we'll kind of see. But my immediate goal, try to get to that fire station. I think that's the best, closest benefit that I can see currently. Uh, all right, 55 pain. Um, I think we're just gonna be chewing aspirin like there's no tomorrow. Give us a good measure of aspirin poisoning here. Then I'll start bringing that down. Damage-wise, we're not doing too bad. A fast healing will take care of a bit of that. But our speed is pretty far down because of that high pain. And our stats are down as well. Um, we might have to sit here and do some crafting. and Maybe I'll do some reading. I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to read out of the... Uh, uh, what do you mean I have nothing to read? What happened to my... Didn't I have books? I could have sworn I had a couple of books. Apparently I don't. Did I never grab those books in this run? I must be remembering the first run where I had some books. And I wasn't able to grab them this time. Uh, well, where were they? Were they in that building next to the one we burnt down? I'm trying to remember where we saw those books. We had a big first aid book and a chemistry book, but I cannot remember where we got them now. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what it'll squeeze through, Remo. Knowing my luck, I'll hit one of those uh, 
cargo truck smashed into an RV, smashed into a main battle tank, a ring right across the side of the road <laughs> from one end to the other situations. But of course, we'll just blow right through with our atomic mini tank. We'll just rev up all of the electric engines and uh, keep throwing plutonium cells into the uh, mini reactors and just blast our way right through. <laughs> all right. Um, well, I thought I had some books. Apparently, I don't. What can we do some crafting of? Steel knuckles. That still makes me laugh. I'm so used to having my steel knuckles for the Drunk Master Mutant uh, playthrough. Um. I don't think there's anything on this list that I care about. Not gonna cook anything up. I've still got plenty of meat to eat. Improvised first aid kit. Not the best chance to uh, heal, but it helps. We'll think about it. Um, and I just don't want to go out in the dark. It would be nice to grab a shopping cart, but again, there's no buildings nearby that I can grab one from. Alright, against my better judgment, I'm going to go ahead and move out again, take advantage of the light we've got. Hello, feral runner. Runner's carrying around an oil lamp, is he? Alright. Drop that off before we move out further. That's the intersection we went to before. Zombies have moved further towards me. So far, none that I worry about, but I'm not going to go towards them. That wasn't good planning. Okay, here's our mini tank. It's good, oh, hello. <laughs> it's pretty glorious. It's in pretty good shape. So, front end, frame, composite armor. Yeah. Ooh. All right, there's a few spots that are going to go bye-bye real fast. <laughs> hmm. Then I'll lose the cameras after that, which will really suck. So I'm not sure how long we're going to use that. That's the kind of thing I'm really worried about is we'll lose the cameras, then I'll be blind and I'll have to bail out of this thing in the middle of a pack of 100 zombies. So that's some of the things I'm really worried about in regards to this tank. Where do you guys keep wandering up from? No, it doesn't rotate the turret or anything. Turrets just automatically fire 
360 degrees. It's not fancy like that. Pork pie hat. Pork pie hat. <laughs> Always has a pork pie hat. Alright, another shady zombie. I need to somehow make it over to the next corner. Oop, let's check this out right here. Another spider basement. Which kind? Another, just another Black Widow basement. All right, we got a lot of spider basements in the area. Bacon. <laughs> yeah, I had to replace the knife spear, Tom, so I figured I might as well take the one point damage upgrade <laughs> while I was at it. So I had to build myself a new spear anyway. It's the only reason I'm using it. I usually just skip it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I don't want to go out that front door. Yeah, zombies over there. Metal tongs, charcoal. Or aspirin. Ooh, oatmeal I like. Mm, no thanks. Rice, yes. Painkiller, time for another aspirin. Hello, shady zombie that should not be able to see me. <laughs> Once again. Whoops. Alright, a lot of zombies out on that next intersection. Gotta be a little careful. Military rucksack. Um, erg. I'd have to carry it back in my arms. Um, gonna say no. It's gonna take too much to clean that thing up. Fire station is just north, past that next intersection. Another mobile meth lab, huh? I'm going to work my way up that way, see how close we can get. Streets are surprisingly clear up this way so far. Oh, what kind of book we got there? Phone book. So, fire station is the building just to the right of that uh, house. There it is. There's a fireman. Hmm. Metal tongs again.
Okay, I'm getting some damage in. There we go, PBA mask. Um, nothing that's fitted though. I'm gonna wait until I get inside. See if there's anything that I really want. Um, stop giving me non-drowsy damn cough syrup. I got enough aspirin. All right, Rottweiler. Ah, Shocker Brute. Shocker Brute. <laughs> Damn it. Had to be a Shocker Brute in the area. Ugh. So close to getting into the fire station, and there's a Shocker Brute. Crap. They haven't spotted me yet, but I think it's just because of the rain. Ugh. Can I get behind the edge of the building and cut off the view? This is going to be close. Uh, I think that's a second Shocker Brute. Yeah, that's a different Shocker Brute. There are two Shocker Brutes out here. Oh, man. No, Tom, the Shadies are broke right now. Shadies can see, it can be high noon, Shady standing out in this blinding bright sunlight, and if I'm inside a building, no matter what the rain, she'll spot me. So, Shady zombies are kind of, currently kind of broke. <laughs> if I'm outside, they work normal, they can't see me. But if I'm in, as soon as I step into a building, all of a sudden he has uh, view range on me. So there are two Shocker Brutes nearby, so this is a big problem, because I'm definitely going to make noise trying to fight these things. Uh, the um, Firefighters inside, and it's going to draw the attention of the Shocker Brutes, and I'll have no way out of this place, so this is a major, major bummer. Do I try this? See if I can even get the door open without attracting their attention. I'm thinking I'm gonna probably get too much attention. I'm waiting to see if anything pops into view. <laughs> so far, no. Alright. This is all sorts of dangerous. This could end us right here. If I get caught in this building by a shocker brute. Not gonna go. Oh crap, this thing's gonna make a ton of noise. I totally forgot about this. Alright, do it. And then get the hell out of here. Nothing from that southern group's coming. Now there's a smoker zombie there as well. Hopefully they're distracted by something else. The vehicle or something. Come on, zombies. Alright. That's four firefighters so far. really don't want to move any further west. I'm going to start to attract things. Crap. Yep. Yeah. Alright. I got a bail. Damn it. I was so hoping to get in there. How to do this. Now I'm considering, do I purposely expose myself and try to lead them away from the firehouse and loop around. Outrunning shocker brutes is hard. I've got my rollerblades on, so that helps. But I've also got pain, so my movement, my action points are low, my speed. Not ideal. Um, and I don't want to lead a big chain of things into the area that I've just cleared. Uh, 
Um, God, I so wanted to get in here. Smoker zombies are really fast as well, and I don't have my mask on at the moment. So far it's just the smoker and the firefighter. I think I'm going to pull back, try to kill these couple that are coming at me, and then, then move forward again. Let's throw on the filter mask. Uh, back a little further. Come here, smoker zombie. There you go, right on the fence. Ah, great. I already got a bite. All right, that's not good. Okay, smoker's dead. Now I got more zombies coming from all directions. Um. Early game smoker zombies, they're kind of tough. Ah, you grabbed me. <laughs> Let me go. There. Alright, now I got him closing in. Uninjured, severely injured. It's back to run mode. Back to walk mode. So this is the kind of thing I was worried about, and this area was cleared. <laughs> there was nothing here a bit ago. I came through this area and made sure there was nothing in it, and all of a sudden, as I'm retreating back through my cleared area, <laughs> I've just got zombies pouring out from all over the place. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm annoyed about them being able to track me, Tom, because I make zero sound. Whether I'm on my blades or the, the shoes, it doesn't matter, because i got the light step trait. And I don't have any negative hearing things that would fake report the sound being lower. So, But they've still been able to track me from much further away than they should be able to. So that's why I say things aren't quite working the way they're supposed to work mechanically. Ugh. So, I'm up to 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 on the screen now in my cleared area. <laughs> Alright, need to take the fast runners out first. Run mode. I'm gonna run out of road here pretty quick. I'm on you. Nearly dead. Um, I'm gonna loop back the way I came, I think. Back to walk mode. Something grabs me, I'm in big trouble. Um, this is getting to be a bit much. Damn it, I'm still sneaking hits in. I'm never going to get rid of all this pain at this rate.
I'm getting some odd leapfrog moves. It's kind of freaking me out. Alright, street is clear. Cauterize. Yay, now we're only paying 71. <laughs> Alright, none of these are acid, so let's just run around and splatter some corpses pretty up the streets. Wasn't intending to give a kiting demonstration, but uh, there we go. Don't care, don't care. Mm, don't care. I deserve some milk balls. All right. That was ooh, zombie soldier. Don't want to fight a soldier. Crap, where's he at? Ah, there's a smoke zombie up there. And a soldier zombie. Damn it. Um, most of those were not even from the area I was trying to clear. Yeah, <laughs> now I got another one. God damn dogs. <sighs> Only takes two hits to kill the things, but they keep landing bites. <sighs> Cauterize. Pain 84. <laughs> Erg. Well, hmm. I don't think I'm going to make it around this corner without attracting attention. Let's go into this house. Really? Not gonna let me pry that this way, are you? Too bad it's a small extinguisher. Don't care about that way. Hmm, too much. Yeah, now look what we got out here. That's not uh, anything part of the group that I had seen earlier. And see, Shady Zombie spotted me. <laughs> 21 away, it's out in the daylight. It should not be able to see me, but it can. Because I'm inside. Um, yeah, it's getting dark soon, and I've got the door open. I'm just scared to death to go... Unfortunately, that's where I need to get, <laughs> and that's what's just hanging around outside. And I haven't killed all the firefighters inside the building yet. I think what I'm going to have to do is I need to pull back. Probably be best if I try to get a little bit of sleep and then make a trip out at night. Yeah, it's that shady zombie with... Oh, hello there, first aid kits. It's that shady zombie coming to get me, the one with infinite sight range. <laughs> eh, apparently something else has spotted me. What's coming, soldier? Nope. Survivor, that's not good. And more coming from the south. Alright. 
Jesus, they all beeline right at me. Nope, don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Alright, hopefully that... Uh, I saw somebody down in the woods to the south. Can't see them now. Hopefully that uh, lost any pursuit. Alright, quick check around again. Nothing in the immediate area. Okay, pain is starting to come down. Um, I'm worried about trying to sleep again, though. Let's cook up some more food while we've got a chance. Meat's done. Unfortunately, now the light's probably drawing zombies in. <laughs> That's not ideal. So, let's... Cooked meat into us. It's really surprised this meat is still valid. Okay, um, well, while well, it's going, so we got uh, crafting for beginners, get us fab three and tailoring three. Where are we at currently? We're at Fab 2 and Tailoring 2. Tailoring 2, 70%. That sounds good. Read that. And the fire went out <laughs> right when we started reading. Alright, Spear's getting pretty messed up. Uh, I should have made another one before I took off, or before I lost the light. Um, Alright, got another one crafted. Let's drop this one. There is the...
Where's the soldering iron? I had a soldering iron. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I had a soldering iron. What the heck? Alright. Guess I don't have a soldering iron. Hey there, Rev. Welcome back. Yeah, I'm tired now. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to sleep. Before I do, let's grab the bookshelf. Oops. There. Hopefully that blocks the light. And we'll go into our little hidey hole and we'll take a nap. Let's try to sleep. Um, three hours to midnight, three hours to six, three a.m. That's not enough time. Ouch. I wanted, I needed to get to sleep a little earlier. Let's say five hours. Please don't oversleep. Please don't oversleep. Please don't have an asthma attack. <laughs> I had an asthma attack, <laughs> right as I say it. <laughs> uh, 2 a.m., actually it says I slept through the alarm, so I think that was when I needed to go to sleep anyway. Or when I wanted to wake up, so. Uh, did I have my inhaler with me? Or Nope, I'm still under my asthma attack. Oh, I do have the inhaler with me. I did it, it uses it sometimes automatically, but not others. I wonder if it's because uh, whether I'm asleep or not. If I'm awake, maybe it uses it. However. All right. Uh, let's have some cooked meat. And some more cooked meat. All right. So we are full and slaked. Carrying too much. Drop the oatmeal. I'm going to drop the boots. I'm not going to use them here immediately. Drop them over there. That will free up a few liters. And uh, I need the crowbar. I'm really hoping to get a uh, firefighter belt. Eight out of fourteen. Um, and I have to hope I find clean gear in the lockers or the fire truck if there is one inside the fire station to get some turnout gear. That'll give me some additional storage capacity because I am not going to be able to carry much back if I'm having to carry filthy stuff. We'll find out. Let's see if we can make it to the fire station in the dark, or if, like last time, we just keep running into an endless string of zombies. Take off the filter mask and. Okay, temperature-wise, other than the mouth and the head, are a little bit cold. That's with the balaclava. Ouch. Alright, go with what we got. Uh, that's not good news. We're going to start right off with a smoker zombie right on top of us. Hmm. I'm going to leave him alone and hope he goes away. We'll try to cross over right up here. Safe mode on. Alright, that's the first street that we crossed over from. Now I need to cross over again and again. I got two more streets to the east I need to go to. Cocker Brute! Cocker <laughs> Brute in the direction I'm heading, of course.
Alright, I got one more street to the east I need to get over to. Then I gotta go north a ways. Stupid blob setting off my safe travel. Alright, so we're on the north south street. So this is where I got annoyed last time trying to travel at night and everything was tracking me way better than they should. I'm making zero sound and stuff was able to follow me. That guy behaved like he should. He didn't see me, couldn't hear me, and didn't start moving towards me. There's our intersection. We're close. Problem is going to be the firefighters inside that I'm going to have to fight and I won't know well, I, I will know if there are Shocker Brutes nearby, because I would be able to see them. So I can see right down the, to the east, if the Shocker Brutes were still in the area, I'd be able to spot them right now. Alright, do I go under and up, or over? Hello, eh, Shady. Great. I'm going to take a lot of bites from Shadies, because uh, I can't kite them. And I'm not wielding my spear. I'm going to have to stand here and fight this thing. I can't kite him at night. Ooh, I don't want multiples. Alright, not sure where all their bodies went. Not sure I can afford to pulp these things. <laughs> Gotta take too long. Too much stuff nearby. Standard cough syrup, that I want. Alright, let's try this again. Something's having a fit on the vehicle here. Damn it, more shadies. Trying to work my way up north. I think I'm all the way over to that vehicle that big group was tearing up. No, well, I'm just south of the fire station. I don't know what's got them in such a dander. Um, fitted flame suit, fitted turnout coat. that there for now. You yuck. I'm actually going to roller skate inside, try to avoid contact with things, and see if I can uh, scoop any useful gear out of the lockers and or the fire truck that might be in the bay. Yeah, I can make it through that doorway. It's just a small. Alright. Apparently no fire truck, so unfortunately we didn't get lucky there, but there's lockers on the back wall. Please have fitted gear back here. Emergency blanket. There's a clean PBA mask. We'll take that and we'll drop the filter mask. Man, I'm getting screwed. Where the hell's all the turnout gear? <laughs> Ugh, we got an empty firehouse. That kind of sucks. Alright, well, so much for my hope of getting gear. So, exactly what was it that broke all this stuff in here, and where did it go? The door was closed. So, <laughs> did Zobby suddenly learn to close doors behind them after they destroyed the furniture? 
All right, fire station's a bust. Firefighters are out and about. They're probably the ones down there making the noise. I was really, really hoping to get some gear out of here, but uh, nope. I think my best hope is to grab that turnout coat that fits, and I'll have to get it cleaned up. So I'm not going to pass it up. Turnout coat that fits. Decent hit point value. So we'll grab that. Um, ideally, I'd like a belt. And... Do I want the boots? I'm not sure the boots would be better than the armored leather boots I've got. I'd uh, have to check. Um, belt and uh, coat. No, I got the coat. Belt and pants is what I'm hoping for. Any firefighters down here? Banging away on things? Childs. Child zombie. Child zombie. Blobs. Where'd you go, firefighters? Apparently the firefighters just wandered off. There were three or four of them inside the fire station once upon a time. Alright, so this guy's got the trousers. They don't fit, which sucks. Um... Dirty encumbrance. I'm going to say no. I'm going to try to track down some more firefighters. Fire station, you are dead to me. Hmm. And unfortunately, there's nothing really useful that I can jump to out in this area. Not a dang thing. I'm going to pull back to the south. Hello, firefighter. Aww. <laughs> Oh, something's been out here killing firefighters. Dang it. The coat fits, not the trousers. No belt, but they've got the helmet. And a fire axe. Um, yeah, I figured the fire axe would be too heavy. Grab that. Let's unload the PBA mask. And it's really hoping to get the pants that fit. Um, the helmet fits as well, though. Problem is carrying capacity as well. Fire axe is pretty cool. 20 bash, 20 cut, but 139 moves, it's really slow. Does fire axe fit under the pent jack silat skill? If it does, I'll take it and use it. I can't remember if it does or not. Um, let's try to grab it. I'd have to drop my spear. And 1.3 over. Uh, nothing I can really drop. Um. Looking for something to try swinging it at. <laughs> for some practice.
Now when I want to fight... Ooh, shock zombie. I oh, don't care. Now I want to fight something. There's nothing in the area. God, I can't even pick up soap. Collapsed the uh, building. Collapsed it. So many of the buildings are going to be collapsed. Well, it one shot a Rottweiler for 43. It's one shotting things, it's just pretty slow. That other vehicle the gang was all beating up on earlier. So they've all wandered off somewhere. Huh. There's a garage down the road. Um, I don't know if I'm in the uh, mode to worry about getting stuff out of garages, though. And it's 3.30 in the morning, and I do have a bit of a ways to go to get back to the base. Um, yeah, I'm going to head back. I'd love to grab some of this stuff, but I just don't have a really good ability to put it into use. Alright, it's pretty much useless. I need to head back. Poker zombie still hanging out near my base. Apparently not. Oh, he's in my base. <laughs> Wear PBA mask. Hello there. Just in time. I think we got him. Alright, um, Axe seems to be working pretty well, just doesn't have the kiting ability, which without my protection I'm really worried about, so I've already almost lost my long underwear top and bottom. Um, so I think I'm probably going to switch back. As soon as I get some better protection, I'll consider using the Fire Axe, but I really need my reach attack. If it does less damage, it also gets me hit less often. So let's drop the fire axe here and grab uh, 
grab the damaged fork spear temporarily. All right, a little bit of damage, a little bit of pain, not too bad. Did not get what I wanted though. I don't have a convenient infinite water source nearby that I found yet. I'm having to grab, slowly grab water from toilets to try to get uh, pieces of gear cleaned up. I'm not sure a single toilet's got enough for the turnout gear. What, 12.6? Also out of soap. Didn't have the space to grab the detergent. Alright, I'm not going to be able to wear this right immediately. Need to get some soap or detergent and then uh, get to another water source try to get that cleaned up. Four oh five. Um, might be able to get back there in time. Damn it, another bite. <laughs> I'm gonna lose the uh, lose the race here on these bites pretty soon. All right. I'm just going to leave the old one behind. I'm not going to repair it, so. Okay, so we got the axe, we got the PBA mask, we got a dirty coat for the turnout gear. Uh, I didn't get everything I wanted, unfortunately. Um, I guess we might as well try to cauterize now while we've got a chance. And we failed. Wonderful. Alright, we're down to, if this works, activate... And we're down to one, one last uh, hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to have to go bathroom diving again. Hard to find ambulances and such. Uh, actually, I'm pretty close to that pharmacy. I need to hit that pharmacy before the sun comes up. Alright, that's our focus right now. Where's a convenient place I can cross over to that pharmacy? What is this? Alright, so the pharmacy is directly across the way from here. I spotted a bear trap? Really? <laughs> Alright, a lot of activity. A lot of activity. Is this the pharmacy entrance? This is the pharmacy entrance. Am I going to get disappointed by a pharmacy yet again? I so seldom find what I need in pharmacies. Don't need aspirin, thanks. Mm. That'll set off an alarm. Let's take a look over here first. Yeah, un unfortunately, yet again, a whole bunch of nothing in the pharmacy. Aspirin and some cotton balls. I'm just going to assume the pharmacy got looted already. <laughs> eh. Shocker brute way off in the distance. I'm always disappointed by pharmacies. Um, yeah, we're basically back to uh, bathroom diving. Anything else in the area? Nothing but housing that I see. And it's 4.30, so we've got to work our way back again. Alright, 
answer a window. Gator. Thanks for killing the acid zombies, Mr. Sewer Gator. Let's have some beer. Hmm. No idea what might have caused that. Bow Hunter. Sure. Well, I got space. Ah, no windows on this entire side. It's full of blobs. Out of the way, Blob. You're standing in the way of my door. Ah, you ripped my backpack, you punk. Another spider basement. What is with the massive number of spider basements in the area? Come on, bathroom. Jeez. Whoops. Didn't know that was blobs sitting in the window there. Five oh nine. I gotta be really careful about daylight coming up if I'm still in a populated area. Enough with the aspirin already. Come on. <laughs> Not cooperating. Uh, this one I've already been in. I think I need to get out of here. All right. Um Didn't come back with much useful from that trip, unfortunately. Unless you count another 40 or so aspirin. Yeah, one shim. I almost never get anything useful out of the pharmacies. Very, very seldom. It has happened, but very seldom. Um...
All right, so we've got a couple of books to read. Not going to do much for us at the moment, but uh, a little bit. Let's get something to eat. Still can't believe this meat is still good. When is this stuff going to go off? Yeah, we won't waste that. Yep, need 40 charges of water just to clean that turnout coat. That's getting a little ridiculous just trying to shovel water between various toilets to do that kind of thing. Uh, yeah. I think we might just have to make our trip, make it, uh, try to make our trip out of here. Ninety-seven percent. We ran out of light. All right, gain that level. Runners in our neighborhood. Come and get me, Feral Runner. Anybody else in the area? zombies including a firefighter zombie all right we're gonna go get those guys and we're gonna take another nap Firefighter zombie go. Where'd he go? We wandered off. Alright, he went north. Unfortunately, that's the direction that the acid zombie's at, and it's closer. I really want the firefighter zombie. What you got for me? Mm, nothing that I wanted, damn it. All 
Alright, didn't get what I wanted out of that. Asthma attack. 86 charges left on my inhaler. Uh, drop. Trail coat. Washboard and keep everything else for now. Take a nap. Sleep as long as you want. Sleep the day away. Ooh, okay. Maybe not quite as long as you want. Yeah, muscles not doing so good. Not eating healthy. Don't have any vitamins. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't come across any vitamins yet. Problem is, with this character, Tom, I don't have all of the mutation benefits like I did with the drunk master mutant. I don't have the robust lungs and all that kind of stuff, so the incidental shocks that I take ratchet my pain up, and when I keep moving into more and new zombies, the risk keeps going up and up and up and it just doesn't end unless I can get back to a quote unquote cleared area um, and I don't want to pull them all into a cleared area so tactically I have a problem with just going on a skating run uh, the skates by themselves are not enough to uh, survive especially when I've got 3.0 zombie spawn compared to I don't remember what I had the drunk master on but uh, it wasn't 3.0 Apparently the game doesn't know what one day means, because we're on, what, day five, and I think I killed the moose on day one, and this meat is still valid. So, there's some weird stuff going on. Let's have some offal as well. I'm going to need to get some more water here pretty soon. Like, right now. <laughs> Alright, full slaked, full health. Um... None of those buildings is particularly useful. So going north, I'd have to go a long way to get to anything semi-useful. Thinking about making a trip. Now, well, just not enough useful stuff that way either. Until I get into a more commercial district. Trying to get into a gun store is almost useless unless they've collapsed the building somewhat. Because the alarm would draw too many to me. And the noise of sawing through the bars would draw too many to me. And I just don't want to use a gun in the density of population that I've got here. i got to stay quiet, so gunfire is not useful. Um, I, I can't keep my frame of reference when I look for things. <laughs> so, doctor's office. This is my house. Way over there. Alright, stop the blinking. It's getting annoying. Another doctor's office way over there. I've got just the default 14 day season, so I haven't adjusted the uh, time frame to stretch out or compress the uh, normal timing mechanisms, so... No, I don't think so, Tom. I mean, this is just a standard time frame start. I mean, it's the standard spring, standard temperatures and everything. I've never had food last this long from one moose that we, we killed on either day one or early in day two at the latest. And we're now on day five, and that meat is still good. So that's just kind of odd. Can't explain it. 
but I also can't explain some of the problems we've been having with vision of the shady zombies and uh, the way some of the other zombies have been tracking me at night. Not being terribly consistent, which is the other problem, making it harder to figure out. Um, I think we are going to need to make a break for it. So, I'm going to have to push too far out to get to anything useful from this position. So while I've got a fairly clear and safe-ish area, it's assuming a shocker brute doesn't wander into my area here. Um, no, it, those are on a separate timer, so when you leave and come back, it updates and will instantly spoil the food. Um, so you can't use out of the reality bubble to try to preserve your food. Um, yeah, I think we should prep for, for getting out of here. So the question now is just one of two. Walk out through the forest? Well, one of three. Walk out through the forest stealthily. Two, drive out in the mini tank. And three, skate out during the day on the rollerblades on the, on the streets. So the mini tank and the rollerblade both would pretty much go north <laughs> along the streets, whatever the best path is, trying to get to this outer edge. The forest route would be a nighttime route. So we're here, so we would just hop into the forest at night and just try to scoot our way through this little housing section, but otherwise just stick to the dense forest and the swamp and try to get to the outer outer edge. Um, I don't see any other viable ways. Trying to go out through the middle of the main populated section of there is not good, and it's just way too far in any other direction. So. It's kind of between those three. Um, the atomic mini tank route is really down to is there a roadblock? And if I have to run things over, do I lose my cameras? That's what I would worry about with the mini tank, is there's quite a bit of damage to the front end of that tank. And as soon as the front end goes, they're going to start tearing off the front end cameras. At which point the tank becomes useless and I'm in a loud <laughs> thing that has uh, attracted a huge amount of attention that I'm going to have to bail out of. I don't know. Could be, Aaron. I have no idea what's actually causing it, so one idea is as good as any other. <laughs> Drive backwards. <laughs> yeah, that would be quite the uh, highlight clip. Yeehaw! <laughs> Driving backwards in an atomic mini tank, weaving through the city. Yeah, I'm sure my fingers could handle that arrangement. Alternatively, um, we could take the tank and then bail out of it and then try to roller skate our way out of whatever mess we get ourselves into. Um, the problem would be the stuff following the tank. I have to exit out the bottom or rear of the tank, so <laughs> I'd, uh, it'd be pretty interesting trying to work my way out the back of the tank with whatever was uh, chasing me at the time, if it was even possible. Would be a shame to get locked into a tank, Walking Dead Episode 1 style. Not have Glenn around to save me. I don't know. My cautious nature tells me to take the forest route. But I've got a lot more control over my death in the forest route. For the fun factor, I think it would be more interesting if I took the rollerblade or the tank route, of course. And I really don't want to leave an atomic mini tank behind. All right, here's what we're going to do. For you guys, I'm going to do the atomic mini tank route. We're going to try to run the mini tank out. If we make it, great. If not, we're going to make a big mess, make a lot of noise, and we're going to have to bail out of it and try to survive on our roller blades. So, what can we do to get prepped for the run? 
Uh, it's 2 a.m. I got a little bit of time. I could ferry up some gear to drop it into the tank to take with us, assuming we could actually make it out in the tank. Or do I go light? Because if I have to bail out of the tank, I'm not going to be able to take anything with me but what I've got on. And I can't afford to gear up with like two duffel bags and two backpacks and so on. Um, I always hate leaving stuff behind and we've got a pretty good pile of pretty useless useful things. Uh, it's gonna grieve me mightily to leave a lot of this stuff back here. I'm just not confident we're gonna get the tank out of here. It's, we know the trip north from where the tank currently is is fairly clear, so we're okay to this intersection. That's where everything becomes a big confusing mess. Then we've got to get east to here, then we got a long haul north, then back to the west to eat one of these two streets, or actually this one as well. This one would be optimal if we could get to here, because then it's a straight shot off into cleared terrain. <laughs> Come back for the stuff later? <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> no. Nah, uh, in no way will we be back. Well, let me rephrase that. If we make it out in the tank, with all the gear, it won't matter. If I have to come back, it would be through the forest route. <laughs> and I'm not 100% confident that's going to be possible. Or wise. I mean, yeah, I value some of the stuff, but most of it's stuff I could easily pick up in a couple of houses and a couple of buildings elsewhere. So, we just have to get down to the nitty-gritty, super important stuff, carry that with us, and not worry about anything else. If I do have to bail out of the tank, fighting is not going to be viable, so I might as well load myself up, um, as long as I'm not over carry weight and dropping my speed. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make a duffel bag. So let's get a fire going and let's make a duffel bag. Do I have the stuff I need? I need a bunch of rags for the duffel bag. Alright, so activate and now wield the crowbar. Shouldn't have lit that quite yet. Mash the bed up and grab all that stuff. Bring it down this way. All right, let's try this again. Duffel. Oh, when did they change that? Okay, is that a recent change to the experimental branch? Hmm, used to be. If you had light when you started a craft, didn't matter if it went out, it would still finish it. But now I just got the message, you can no longer see well enough to keep crafting. So now you've got to keep your light active the entire time you're crafting. Uh, they better let me continue where I left off or that's going to be a really, really annoying change. So that has to be from the recent experimentals. I just updated my experimentals yesterday or this morning. I can't remember when. 
um, but I'm pretty up to date. So I don't think I had updated for the last two or three weeks, and uh, that's definitely within the last couple of weeks, <laughs> maybe within the last day. I've never seen that happen before. Huh. All right. Well, as long as they let me continue, I won't be quite so uh, unhappy. But uh, if, if that interrupted my crafting and you have to have light and can't get interrupted, that's going to be really, really hard to manage. And I don't think will be a happy making change. All right, so it did let me continue. I uh, crafted it from memory, and let's go ahead and get that duffel bag worn. All right, so now we got 44 space available. What do we have to take with us? Show me everything to inventory. All right, man, I would still love to get that turnout coat done before we take off, but I just don't think I'm going to manage it. I'm going to have to hold off and wait for a better set later. All right, uh, shotgun ammo, eh, I can find more later. I don't have a shotgun for it, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to need my needle. I don't need the campfire drill anymore. Might as well take the cash cards. Cordless drill, I don't think I need that. I'm just going to unload fire axe. We'll grab it for the moment, but we we'll might need to unload it. Grab one of those. Hot plate, lock picks. Uh, sure, sure, sure. The infinite cooked meat will take. This is where it's going to suck, this gallon jug of water. I need to get uh, more water. I need to see if I can make some Maltobs. Those would be fun. Definitely want that. I want the pepper. And yeah, this section is where things are going to add up. I want the beans and rice. Take another gallon jug. Grab one. Definitely want the batteries. Definitely the duct tape. Gotta have the plutonium. And, and it's full. It's five five points for that thing. I'm gonna have to leave it behind. It's too too much. I'm already at 40 out of 44 with what I've picked up. Uh, can't even grab the other gallon jug. So, I think this is what we're looking at. Unload the cordless drill.
All right, we've got about 15 or 16 doses of water uh, and a couple other bottles, small bottles of stuff. That'll be enough to get us out of the, the area, should be. Plenty of meat and other food, mm, sorta. We're down to eight cooked meat. Can't believe we've gone through that entire frickin' moose. All right, it's 5.30. I think we make our way up to the tank right now. As soon as the sun comes up, we fire it up and get moving. The brazier, not really important at this point. I can easily make another one. I think I've got a hot plate as well. I can't remember if I grabbed it or not, but uh, Do I not have a hot plate? I thought I had some kind of uh, temporary or portable cooking solution. But like I said, not super important. I, you just go smash apart one oven in any house and you can easily make a brazier. I guess I don't have a portable unless I left it behind. Uh, but no, I'm not worried about the brazier. We'll either be dead or we'll be out of the city <laughs> before the sun goes down. So we're going to hop in the mini tank. As soon as the sun comes up, we're going to fire that thing up and see what we can do. Could be our death. It'd be a shame. This, this run's already been pretty much a miracle given the starting conditions that uh, we're this far along. Just got to get to the edge. So, uh yeah i need to keep the uh roller skates on so let's just get up to the mini tank Tank. Of course, it's facing the wrong direction. Alright, so I'm not missing anything, am I? We've got battery. I've bought the plutonium. We're going to have to feed some plutonium cells into it uh, to get the storage batteries up. So we'll have to activate the reactor. Uh, I have no idea. I've never driven a mini tank, so I don't know how much energy it's going to absorb or need to operate. But uh, if 10 plutonium cells doesn't get us to the edge of the city, I, <laughs> I'd be really shocked, but it's possible. Um, like I said, my worry is this front end, and uh, it's pretty heavily damaged and totally missing, like that one there, and I'm really worried about us losing the security cameras that are my primary way of being able to see. Once those go, I think things are going to be pretty bad, and I'm going to have to dive out the back door through whatever's chasing me. So if they stack up on the back door and I have to chop through them, I think it'll be a pretty much a, a we're done type of deal. Um, so let's uh, examine vehicle, refill. The top three mini reactors are all in good condition. So we'll refill that one. Whoops. Uh, drop here. <laughs> um, seven plutonium. Close that door. Examine. Fill. Mini reactor. Three cells. Alright, 1500 points of power, but then that gets converted into electrical energy for the storage batteries once we turn the reactor on. Um, so I'm not sure how much more we're going to need, but I'll feed more in as we need to. I think I'll drop some of these here, just in case I need to uh, separate it again. So let's drop four here. I 
I have mechanics of zero, so I have no faith that I'm going to be able to do anything regarding removing or reinstalling cameras or anything else. I'm not even going to try. I do have duct tape, but uh, I'm not confident I'd be able to do it. Yeah, you need mechanics too just to even remove them. So, that's not going to happen. Thirsty already, am I? Let's have some cranberry juice. Alright, so we're in the tank. What kind of storage capacity do we have in these things? 87, 87, 87. I'm thinking of dropping stuff here. Uh, I'm just worried if I drop stuff. No, I can't afford to drop anything. I was thinking about it, Tom, but it's going to take time to pick it back up again, and dropping the bag is going to drop a whole crap load of stuff, and then when I try to wear the bag again, I'm going to have to pick up each individual item, which is going to take time. And if I'm going to have to bail, i got to bail fast, so I can't afford to drop stuff. If it comes down to me being trapped in the tank, I'll close the door, drop whatever I need to drop, then pop the door open and fight. So that part I'm not worried about. But if i got to move fast, it's going to be tank comes to a halt, I pop the door, I immediately bail out. I don't have time to pick the bag up and put inventory back into it and such. So I think I'm going to stick the way I am. Encumbrance and such. Um, let's make sure things work here. <laughs> so if I turn on the camera system and step in the seat. I'm not seeing squat, but that's because it's dark. Largely, I believe. Whoops. Didn't mean to start it up. <laughs> Stop. Crap. Didn't mean to do that. That was bad. Five forty-five. I'm not sure when dawn is. If I try to sleep, you know, if I try to pass time, uh, twenty-three hours. So it's about fifteen minutes before uh, the sun's gonna come up. So let's just pass time. Pass time. A little longer. Hello, zombie. Close that door. Apparently, I do have a view out the front in a narrow cone without uh, the camera system on. Camera system is currently off, so that's good. I've got a view slot or something. Pass time. A little more sunlight, please. Man, I'm having an asthma attack. Alright, I think that's about the extent of it. Okay. Um... Turn on a reactor. So 1,500 points in the plutonium cells in the reactor, and we're at 7% total battery at the moment. 7 and 15. So let's let that run for 5 minutes. Check it again. Now we're at 24 and 13. So it's charging up pretty good. I'm going to let it charge up a bit before we take off. 72% and the plutonium cells down there. Let's feed in a few more plutonium cells. Fill that reactor with that group. All right, one more five minute break. All right, we are max charge. We've got all three storage batteries maxed out, and I think we've got enough plutonium cells to uh, 
fuel it at least another complete fill. So it's all now going to come down to just how much progress we make when we're traveling. All right. <laughs> Atomic Mini Tank Charge, here we go. This will be the first one I've done on camera for this kind of a thing, so. Looking at our path real quick, we're gonna turn this thing around, or try to. I've never driven one of these, so I have no idea what kind of turning it does or the speed it's gonna move at, and I also don't know what kind of wreckage we're gonna run into, but I think the route is fairly clear to that intersection. Then we're gonna go to the east, to the second third intersection then we're gonna go north hopefully all the way up to here then west and we have our choice if I can pick I want this very last intersection right here that goes right up to this empty space that would be the ideal path we'll see if it happens <laughs> do the ramming as fast as possible that's I, I know why Man, that's hard to, to, to actually do in a situation like this. I'm just worried there's going to be so many zombies, they're going to be plastering the windshield like a swarm of insects and just wear away the front end of this tank. We'll see. See how much giddy up and go this atomic mini tank has. All right, first step, turn the cameras on. Step into the seat. All right, much better. That's what I thought would happen. All right, back hatch is closed, and we're burning energy, so let's... I don't think the plutonium cells will deplete until I start using some of the energy. Now that the cameras are running, it'll slow trickle charge out, and I think it'll start refilling with the plutonium cells. Yeah, driving skill zero. <laughs> Can't wait to do some drifting in my atomic mini tank at skill zero. Should be good. Um, I think before I do this, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm about two and a half hours, and this I'm going to be pretty tense and concentrated for the next little bit trying to get this thing out of here. So I'm going to take a fast break before we do this. So I'll be right back with you folks. Be gone less than five minutes. Uh, see you then. <laughs> 